I can honestly say that it is some extremely unhinged people out here in this world. And the person you're looking at right here on your screen is a perfect example of why I say that. So in this picture, you see someone by the name of Damaris Pritchett. He's 23 years old and he's from Tennessee and he worked at a Wendy's. And it looks like to me, he was probably, it looks to me like he has his mugshot taken with his Wendy's um, uh, uniform on. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this guy right here is because he, what well, he's a shift manager at a Wendy's and this guy poured hot oil. Now, let me rephrase that. He doused a customer with hot oil, like hot oil, like he went to the back where the oil is at, where, you know, the fries and stuff are at, and picked it up and threw it on a customer. And you can tell he's not all, he can't be that right in the head to do that and then to have the nerve to smile in his mugshot. So let me go ahead and get into this article. It was posted October 7th, 2021. A fast food manager was arrested in hunting in hunting Dunn, Tennessee, after police say he doused a customer with hot oil. According to a police report, a man purchased food in a Wendy's drive through late Thursday, Tuesday night before returning to inform an employee that his food was cold. The situation escalated to a verbal altercation between the customer and 23-year-old Damaris Pritchett, who was working in his role as shift manager. Surveillance footage showed Pritchett obtain a hot pan of hot oil from the kitchen, walked back to the drive through and poured it over the customer through the window. The custom side, the victim received extensive burns on his left side and arm and was treated for his injuries at Baptist Memorial Hospital. While in custody, Pritchett admitted to throwing the hot oil and claimed he had been previously harassed by the victim. Pritchett was charged with aggravated assault and has since been released on bond. We spoke with the victim's mother Wednesday, who says he's currently isn't in good condition and hopes justice is served. That's crazy. Now, I'm going to read through some of the comments that people um, left here. It's actually three comments. One person said, I think the manager should be fired if the man harassed you. The best thing he could have done instead of throwing hot oil on the man, he should have banned him from the store. And when he kept doing that, call the police and get him for trespassing and harassing. You know, now Wendy's is going to have to pay for the pay for the man money and the worker is going to have to pay and now will be on his record for the rest of his life and that will stand in his way of ever being able to get management position in a restaurant someone else says sue wendy's and wendy's needs to fire this man for his behavior it's just totally ridiculous no customer should be treated that way wendy's can lose a lot of business by these two for hiring workers like this but yeah I agree with the two uh two comments. Yeah, like if this was a person that was you say he was harassing you, there was a whole nother way that he this guy could have went about it other than doing that because now it makes you look even more extremely aggressive. And the thing is you only get one time to harass me. If you come back again a second time, at that point now it's an issue. But it should never get to the point where you go back and get a a hot oil and then throw it on to an individual now this person was saying coming at you in a physical way and you felt you had to defend yourself then that's different but you but this is where he messed up and it makes him look even worse he threw this because i'm thinking going into this i'm thinking that he did this while the person was in front of him maybe like at a in, in like he may been inside of the uh, wendy's but he threw this to the person who was in the drive through while they were in their car. So this person didn't even have enough time to react, like say roll up their window or anything like that. Like by the time he came back with that, with that hot oil, that person in the car probably didn't even have enough time to react. And then it just, he, it was too late by the time he realized what was going on. So this makes him look really, it makes him look more worse than the person he, who claims that, it makes, excuse me, it makes him look worse than the person that he claims was harassing him. Because at least with the harassment or whatever the case may be, it was more verbal. It wasn't physical. He made it physical throwing hot oil, hot oil. Listen, I have been burnt by hot grease before. When I was younger, I was, you know, frying chicken for the first time. And it was like years ago. And the popping of the grease made me panic. And I dropped that chicken instead of laying it down into that hot grease and it popped and splashed back onto my leg. Luckily for me, the grease was not that hot. So the burn did not like, like go through my skin and leave a scar or anything. It was just surface level. But even that 
was still man that burn lasted for days and i tried everything trying to put like to try to ice it down and everything nothing wasn't worth the burn felt so hot on my skin that it started to melt the damn ice like that's how hot it was but luckily it wasn't like a a, a second degree burn it was more like a first degree so it didn't um like cause like the skin to peel or well it, i think the skin did peel a little bit but it didn't um like almost melt you know how you get hit with acid it didn't do that it didn't like break through the skin which is a good thing but man did that shit hurt so i can only imagine how that that person felt in that line getting that hot oil thrown onto them you're talking about stuff that you used to make fries anything that has to be fried chicken all of that in that oil and it was piping hot he made sure it was hot it wasn't cooled oil it was hot as in it was just boiling so it was probably some fries or whatever sitting on the rack and he just got that oil and just threw it and dumped it on him so now the person who was the harasser based on this manager has now become the victim and now is liable to like the person down in the comments said can sue him and wendy's and he'll have a case this guy right here just made this person most likely a millionaire overnight because you know they're going to go for the gusto. They're going to go for the big money. And Wendy's is going to have to pay it. Wendy's is going to end up firing him for sure. He's going to be fine. He's not going back to that job. And like the other person said, this is going to stay on his record for the rest of his life. And he's probably not going to have another managerial position ever. This is going to follow him everywhere. All I'm saying is think before you act. You are in a managerial position and you and this is how you decide to react. Granted, we know customers can be assholes. That's why I could never work in retail or food service because I couldn't. I, I could not deal with these individuals. But you have to be careful with how you react. Like I said, it would have been one thing if the customer came at him in a physical way, like got in his face and, you know, started to push him or put his hands on him. Then I could see if you was to do what you did. But it didn't go past verbal altercation. It didn't go past that. When you got that oil and threw it, the minute that shit left that pot and landed on that person and it burned them, that's when it became physical and that puts you in the hot seat. No pun intended. So I can't say that I feel too bad for this guy right here. He's definitely going to have some charges that's going to be coming upon him. He's probably he's definitely going to pay a fine. He's definitely going to be fired. He will most likely get sued and he's most likely going to serve some jail time. So it's not looking too good for him right now. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this story down in the comments.